Okay, our panel today is called Critical Insights on the Land Governance Orthodoxy, and it focuses in on uh, the land programming and ideas surrounding uh, concerns in the land sector and the types of interventions that are required to address those concerns that have consolidated on the heels of the financial crisis at the end of the 2000s uh, and the outcry over global land grabs. The first uh, presentation in the session digs into the theory of change underlying uh, the concerns that have been raised in the land sector ideas about the nature of interventions that are required to address those concerns, uh, as well as the, the co-benefits that are thought to uh, also come on the heels of those interventions with a focus on issues surrounding tenure security or tenure insecurity uh, and land titling. Howard, over to you. Okay, thanks. Uh our panel, uh, our paper actually look at land governance crisis and resilience in rural Tanzania. And we're examining the uh, con contestations and the view of the relationship between security and conflict. Uh, in particular, there's a view among the supporters of, uh, of land titling that security will be enhanced and uh, reduce conflict because there'll be less dispute over boundaries. The court system will be available to uh, transform and systematically rep represent the uh, rights of individuals. Uh, and uh, and there'll be less worry about confiscation, and and in essence, then there's an alternative view that says no. In fact, the act of formalization itself increases conflict, because it's a fixing of boundaries, which at one point were open to some degree of 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 uh, some de some some degree of discussions and uh, consultation, which is now lost when it get, begins to get formalized. Also, is uh, in some places uses a mechanism in which you formally set the boundaries and allows for the seizing of land uh, by, by elites that have a greater power uh, within the court systems to be able to enforce their particular rights. And hence, formalization can undermine resilience in rural households in crisis situations. And uh, our, our analysis will be based upon uh, 10 years of studies uh, uh, throughout uh, Tanzania on uh, the impact of formalization. Wonderful. Milford? Um, I'm talking about uh, land titling in Cambodia, which is now probably the world's leading country in terms of linking land titles to access to credit. The theory implies that this should be a very positive development for the poor, but in actual fact, it's backfired very spectacularly. So I'll be talking about that. Okay, and the last uh, presentation in the session is called Contested Ontologies of Security, and it asks the question, what is tenure security? What is livelihood security? Uh, and it does that by contrasting some of the dominant notions of what tenure security is purported to be within the land governance orthodoxy, and then contrast that with the ethnographic evidence. How do uh, sedentary agriculturalists and pastoralists conceive of tenure and livelihood security? And also, what are gendered forms of security across the African continent? So I'm digging into the ethnographic evidence and trying to contrast that with the dominant uh, theory or conception of what tenure security is assumed to be. So we hope with that uh, brief introduction, it will give you adequate uh, information to get excited about our panel and to join us. Thanks very much. <laughs>